Okay, now that I've got your attention, let's make my classic chocolate cake. Right now, I'm going to crack four eggs and separate them. Make sure you get all the egg whites in without any egg yolks because that could spoil your batter. It won't let the egg whites lift. Right now, I'm going to just mix up the egg whites, make it frothy. I'm adding the um, sugar bit by bit, so that's how it gets incorporated properly and that's how I get my meringue to the consistency that I want. Meringue is basically egg white and egg sugar that you can hold over your head with full confidence. And you should be able to hold it over your head. Though I had a little bit of fear in there, trust me, I trust my whipping. So add your four egg yolks, add in your baking powder, add your salt, add your vanilla. So I'll need a weighing scale and this will help me measure out my oil. I'm using oil instead of butter because I like my cakes to not be so heavy. Butter adds that heaviness. Now I'm adding the adding the <laughs> maida. Make sure you measure it well. I'm very careful about my maida measurement. I don't want my cake to be too heavy. So now I'm adding the cocoa powder. Four tablespoons. And now I'm going to start folding my cake. Why we're folding is because we want the cake to be as aerated as possible. We don't want to lose the air from the egg white. And we want it to be airy so it can soak in all that sugar syrup. Now we're going to put it in 6 inch pans. Let's not waste. I'm Malayali and wasting is just not an option for me at all. I'll get hit. Just kidding. Trim out the top, there's this layer that's not as airy or isn't as porous and we want to take that out because we want the sugar syrup to um, seep in as much as possible. Take off all those crumbs. Now we're going to slice our cake in half. I know it looks really really easy but it took me 10 years to be able to do this with this much ease. Now you make your sugar syrup, which is two cups of water with half cup of sugar. Uh, I love traditional cakes and traditional cakes have sugar syrup in it. So that is my chocolate buttercream. If I get more than 25 subscribers, I will give you this recipe. Till then, otherwise it's going to be a secret one. So yeah, make sure there's no lumps. Make sure it's fully incorporated. You don't want any chunks and lumps in your cake. Now fill in your uh, icing bag. You push it all the way down and cut the edge. So I'm making a dam, this is what you call a dam. It's basically a border so that the filling doesn't spill out. This is my very rich chocolate ganache that again, if I get enough subscribers, I'll let you in on that recipe. And all that extra dam, just smoothen it out using an angled spatula. Now you just pipe one ring on top, on sorry, in the middle and one on top. My aim is not to have a perfect looking cake, it's to have a tasty cake. So I'm not going to have too many instructions on how to decorate it. You take your angle spatula and just smooth it out like how you're spreading jam on bread. You just kind of use that technique for this as well. So you're basically more or less spreading out all your um, chocolate buttercream. But what really gives it that final finish is using a metal scraper. 
keep spinning your cake till you get that smooth consistency you'll have to do it a couple of times till you get the desired look that you want which is kind of neat not perfect i would say for me i focus more on the taste rather than the look because at the end of the day you're eating this and you're not just taking pictures with it For me, cake is about what you're eating. See, I've not used any fancy nozzle or anything like that. Just the same piping bag with that cut. I'm putting dollops around, and voila! Oh, we are uh, have to clean the cake board. Okay, it's not important to have a perfect looking cake, but it is important to have a neat and clean looking cake, and you can achieve that only by. cleaning out your cake board make sure all of that extra icing that's on your cake board is removed using a tissue be careful make sure you don't dig the tissue into your cake it's happened a couple of times to me there just being a little more particular but yeah there you have a classic chocolate cake subscribe